So number 18. What is the electron configuration of magnesium? So Okay, so magnesium is the 12th element. Okay, so if we did the same 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s. We're going to stop there. Reason being is that 1s, we blow right past the hydrogen and helium, so we're done. And then 2s, we're past lithium and beryllium. So right now we have 1s2, 2s2, because those are checked off. And we're also going past boron through neon. So that'd be 2p6. And then we actually stop at 3s2. So that's where we stop there. We don't touch the 3p row. We don't go into aluminum. So this will end with 3s2. And if we were to write this in the shorthand notation, starting with the uh, noble gas, it'd be neon 3s2. Two. This would be our electron configuration of magnesium. Reason being is because our S subshell, as you recall, will be the first two columns. Okay? Our P subshell would be columns 13 through 18, except for helium. Helium counts as an S orbital. Okay? So if we count it through, we have. 1s1, 1s2. Then we go down to lithium, 2s1, 2s2. Then we skip over to boron, which would be 2p1, 2p2, 2p3, 2p4, 2p5, 2p6 at neon. And then we have 3s1, 3s2 for magnesium. And this actually coincides with the valence electrons it has. Considering that magnesium is on the second column, we know that it has two valence electrons, which is actually what this electron configuration is also showing, because in the most outer shell, the three, it has two in the superscript. Okay? So, with that being said, this is correct. Because it goes 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. So now, with that being said, I do believe this is the perfect time to stop right there. Okay. I just want to thank you again for joining me this evening. Um, if you have any further questions or want to delve more into any of the questions we've answered here, please check out the links in the description below. And with that, once again, I wish you a great night. Enjoy your weekend. And thanks for joining us this evening. Thank <laughs> you.